Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. <laughs> well, basically, um, Dwayne Haskins was released today, and I'm trying to figure out why is everyone surprised? Like. Ron Rivera didn't want him in the first place. And the only reason he was on the team was because the owner wanted him. And the owner, I believe, is gone now. So, Dwayne Haskins has to understand, and I and he's a young kid. He's a young kid to me. I'm 35. I'll be 36 um, next year. Um, And the thing is, is that when we're young, we make mistakes. But what Dwayne Haskins has to understand is that you're not a black receiver. You're not a linebacker. You're a quarterback. You're a position that they do not want you to succeed in. So if you give them reason to get rid of you, they'll get rid of you. Now, was he given a fair shot? Hell no, he wasn't. But did he do anything to show that? any maturity or anything no he didn't because he was going to the strip club doing things like this and and that and and it's it's just to me is that it's unfortunate and i think sometimes black quarterbacks or black men i should say you could marry a white woman you can stick her as good as you want to you can bring her to the house meet your parents you can have her at the table you could put a ring on her finger but at the end of the day you're still a negro and I think a lot of these black quarterbacks or brothers really forget that. Um, I think he didn't realize is that you're expendable. And if you add anything to that, anything you do is heightened a hundred times worse than what it is. And it's the truth. You'll probably have some idiot white guy or pink guy come by saying he was a terrible quarterback. He sucked because white people a.k.a. the pink folk, don't see anything past that. They think the world is fair. <laughs> they think that if you put in hard work and you do this and that, you'll get a big house, you'll get a car, and they think everything is so simple when it isn't. They don't know that black people get taxed more. They don't know that black people are in more debt than they are and are given jobs that pay lesser after they graduate than what whites get. They don't know that whites get paid more salary wise and hourly wise more than blacks do. And they may work the same position. They don't know that whites are basically treated as if they're God's gift to the earth while blacks are treated like the stuff on the bottom of the barrel. They don't understand that. And I think a lot of times is that they think that we're crying for nothing. But I like to ask white people, like, what if everything was turned back on them? They can't think that because you know why they can't think that from a they can't think that from a side of superior superiority. Now, is Dwayne Haskins exonerated for what he did? No, he's not. Dwayne Haskins was an idiot and he's dumb for what he did. He's stupid as hell. He should have known that cameras are going to be on you, son. You're darker than the tires on my truck and you're basically a quarterback in the NFL. Come on. You guys, we, we got to do better. We got to do better. And that's how we're going to be judged now. Because of you messing up now, that's going to make it tough for Justin Fields, who comes in from um, Ohio State. It's going to make it tough for any other black quarterback after you. Black quarterbacks have got to understand that they're not the only ones that this affects. This affects down the line of black quarterbacks who are coming in the league. That's why Warren Moon held himself to a higher standard. That's why he always walked with a different type of walk. He walked with a confidence like, look, I'm the best quarterback, not black, best quarterback. 
I remember Doug Williams said something so smooth when somebody asked him, has the black quarterback, like, has it gotten better? And he basically returned the stupid question back to that reporter. Um, If it's gotten better, then you wouldn't be interviewing me if it's gotten better. And it's the facts. Black black coaches, black quarterbacks, not hell, not even that, even in the NBA we can't get a job being anything else. We have to be a sportscaster. I watched the other day an NFL game with Aqib Tlaib. Aqib Tlaib, probably one of the best corners we've seen play the game, um, is subjected to being a sportscaster. Um, looking at Kevin Garnett, probably one of the greatest power forwards to ever play the game, has been lowered to being just a TV personality. The same with Chuck and all these guys. And it just makes me wonder, you guys praise this dude that is trying to hang on to his hair as he's the only black man that's out there when there's real black men out there who've done a lot for the community and they've done a lot for the sport, but they're still not getting any love. They villainized Isaiah Z. Thomas for decades, while praising this bald head dude who played in Chicago, who's not even from there. He's from North Carolina. They praise him, but they destroy other black folks just to make him the token Negro. We got too many token Negroes today. We need more black men. Hell, not even black men, just black. We can have black women. But. I know I went off track and I go off track sometimes. So please bear with me. Please forgive me. The thing is, Dwayne Haskins, you have to understand you are a black man in America. That's it. You're not given the same opportunities whites are given. Now that you messed up, you might not ever get another opportunity. And if you do, you're probably going to be third string or having to fight your way back. And you know how hard that is? It's going to be hard. You might not even get picked up by a team unless they have a black starting quarterback. They might just bring you in just to bring you in. I hope you find your way. I hope you get yourself back on your feet. Just take this as a life lesson, son, and move on. But again, stop the foolishness. You're a black man. Black men have got to mature faster than the white boy. Baker Mayfield's allowed to get away with throwing up dollar signs and being as braggadocious as he wants. And guys like Skip Baseless be like, I praise that. But if anybody else do it like a Floyd Money Mayweather, it's a problem. It's a problem. He's cocky. He's not. He's an arrogant son of a B. <laughs> you know, and to me, that's the problem. Black men, they want to be so feminized and so soft that they can't even speak up or they're seen as the angry black man. Now, Dwayne, just get back on your feet, man. Go out there, try to do better, answer the questions and do what you can do um, to make it happen. To me, I thought you were talented enough to play. I thought you didn't get a fair shake, but your off the field antics also made it bad on yourself. So um, I hope you get better and I pray for you and I pray for you to um, get better and I pray that you get a job. Um, we're out. Live boy.